Grand Rising, Kings and Queens. It's not Millie, and I'm back with another vlog, y'all. Another day of getting to another dollar, baby. Just like any other day. I wish it was every day. I'm working hard for it to become every day, but it ain't. Yesterday was one of them no making money days. Did I earn anything? Let me see. Nope, I ain't sell nothing. I ain't do no removals, I ain't do no moving, no nothing. Yeah, so this this job is from two days ago, and it just so happens two days ago I also did a workout. I did an arm workout and y'all work out if y'all ever worked out y'all know what it is man it's usually the next day you be all sore but two days after your workout it's like you at the top peak of the soreness you feel me and yes i'm in top peak of the soreness <laughs> i can't even lie to you man like i ain't flexing and i'm just trying to straighten my arm out and that ain't too bad i just got out of the shower so i'm still kind of warm but yeah, man, it's hard to. Oh, it ain't too bad. This morning, boy, my stuff was like this. I was stuck here, like. Ugh. But yeah, it ain't too bad right now. It hurts, but I got a lot more range of motion than I did a little bit earlier. <laughs> anyway, anyhow, I'm gonna stop rambling. What I got going on right now is cleaning off the back of this truck. <clears throat> I gotta get this jump removal stuff off of here because I have a dolly little couch move. They hired one guy, one guy with a truck. That'll be me. They said they'll be there to help me on the pickup side and the drop off side. I think it's like sixty dollars, fifty some, sixty some dollars. I'll have to go back and look, but it yeah, ain't really that important. Not to me, at least. It's not a lot of money, you feel me? I know it's a lot of people be looking at some of these dollar amounts that I be working with. Like, man, I wouldn't do it for that. I can do a lot more. I can get a lot more. Woo, woo, woo. And you're right. It's true. However, I, if I don't have no work, like for instance, I ain't got nothing lined up today. I would be dumb not to take this little 50 $60 job. That's how I look at it. Could I get more on my own? Yes. But I didn't, I didn't all spend money on this lead. I got this lead for free. As a matter of fact, they paying me fifty dollars to do it, and it's another lead that could potentially walk me into a junk removal job that's worth hundreds of dollars. I ain't did nothing worth thousands yet, but I have done hundreds of dollars worth of business with people that I've gotten doing these little moves for from Dolly. So that's why I do it. I understand if you wouldn't do it, but hey, you ain't me, Jack. <laughs> you ain't me, and I ain't you. I'm gonna do what I do. This may roll, man. It really ain't all it on. Definitely a good hurt. Definitely a good hurt. Feels good to be back. Back in the mix. On this side, on this side. Let's get it off of here. All right, so I'm gonna get all this stuff situated off this truck and onto the trailer. Create space for this couch. And also have paint on the trailer that I need to get to a paint shop and get that recycled. That'll help create a little more space on the trailer too. Yeah, that's it, man. Stay tuned, see what type of money we can pull in today, man. Like I said, it's the only job I got lined up so far. Chatting with somebody else that want me to do a sectional couch move. I'm talking about $100. And it's not even a two-piece sectional. It's like one of them big three, four-piece sectionals. Like, nah, Jack. So I'm definitely about to hit them back in a little bit and hurt their feelings. <laughs> and I may have some sales on this jumping move stuff. Like this wicker thing, somebody asked me dimensions on. And it was something else. It was something else. 
Oh, this this little desk that's in the middle. Somebody's asking me dimensions on that too, so I may be able to make some money today. We'll see. Stay tuned, y'all. So, here's a prime example of why I ain't got no walls on here, no permanent walls, man. So I can be right here, pulling stuff off the back of the truck, putting it right here on the front of this tray without having to walk it all the way on. It's way more convenient, man, because I'm all over the place. I'm using my truck a lot, I'm using the trailer a lot. So, it just, I just think it's better to make it removable. And not so permanent. Like I said, that's why it's taking me so long to get walls on here. Because if I wanted them permanently, I can just put them up myself. You feel me? And they'll be up today, tomorrow type thing. But that's not what I want. A like little dirt said, this ain't what you want. man it was like eight minutes away from my career that's what i'm talking about so, uh, here we go here we go all right let me check in see check the app see what i gotta do uh I'll check back in in a minute cool view you know little frame thing is always kind of like the back 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 yeah that was definitely an easy move right there um had help I'm gonna have help on the other side. And yes. The hallways were wide. The elevator was nice and wide and easy. So we up out of here, man. Be on the roads. I'm about 20 minutes away. So check back in a minute, y'all. No more my little batons. Ah, a dolly just came across the board, man. Let me show y'all what it is. Excuse my phone, I cracked it down there. But this is what it's saying: $117 for a California mattress haul away, California King and the box spring. It's paying $117. They want two people in the truck to take it to wherever this dolly recycling spot is for mattresses. It's like 60 something miles away. Y'all know me, I ain't doing that. If I get this bad boy, what I'm gonna do is just go pick it up, fold it up, and put it on my trailer and take it to the dump with me whenever I go back. When is this? This is the one's tomorrow. So, yeah. So, that's what I'm on, y'all. <laughs> See, if I get this bad boy, I'll keep y'all posted. Matter of fact, and I got a power up. So if you don't know, Dolly has a, what's called like if you don't if you don't reschedule or or deny. I'm sorry, if you don't have to reschedule or don't finish none of your dollies, if you do so many of them in a row, you get a power up bonus. And what that is, it allows you to 
guarantee your spot. So if something comes through, instead of randomly getting picked, I can use my power up bonus like I'm doing for this one. And I use my power up bonus and then I'm guaranteed to get this bad boy. So like I just did, you got the dolly. So yeah, got me a job for tomorrow morning, man, make $117. The pickup is right down by the water. So yeah, it should be pretty easy. I definitely have space on the trailer right now. So I ain't complaining. It's decent little cheese. And I'ma leave it's by the marina. So it could possibly be it could possibly be down by the water too. So if that's the case, I'm definitely taking some flyers, man, because all the boats down there, they definitely need to get rid of stuff. Why well, never think about that? Definitely taking this job. I'm definitely going down there on my off time to drop some flyers. Alright, Joe. Yeah, makes me feel good, man. Makes me feel good. Got something lined up for tomorrow. What y'all know about these though? I like Crown Royal. I like Crown and Coke and now and then for the most part I drink my liquor straight up, but I think I'll give it a shot. It's only like three, four dollars. And the work lined up, so definitely gonna have me a little beer. All right, so I'm done rambling. <laughs> Y'all probably get tired of hearing me talk. Be talking as much as life within me. <laughs> I like dude, though, man. CJ be having me rolling talking about dude. But. Seems like a cool dude, man. I'll be watching this channel, man. Like me and me, man. Maybe be watching mine one day. We'll see. Anyway, man. Going to the crib. Go talk some shit. Swallow some spit. Uh -huh. Alright, y'all. Nine million. I'm back, y'all. Same day. Getting to another dollar. On my way to do well. Let me back back. My brother from another mother hit me. He's a property manager of some sort of an apartment building here downtown San Diego. A lot of heavy hitters live there. Long story short is one of his tenants needs a item picked up from a furniture store and brought to his crib because it won't fit in his car. He hit me for the job, asked me if I was available. And good thing I didn't get drunk. Woo wee, good thing. I would have missed out on this opportunity, man. Had a couple beers and went to sleep. And now I'm up all rejuvenating this <laughs> All fresh. So yeah, out here about to get to dollars, man. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate y'all being part of my journey, man. Saving up these dollars. That's what I'm on now. That's what the major is. Since I didn't, I wasn't able to finagle my way into a box truck this go round. Um, I'm just back on save mode, back on stacking, so I can uh, have money for another insurance down payment, as well as um, truck or trailer. I say truck or trailer because I don't know if I'm um, if I'm strong enough to pull both of them off at the same time. So I'm thinking just go ahead and invest into another trailer, keep this truck because this is a beast. Um, and then build the hauling business from there. Like, I ain't gonna jump into no $60,000 box truck that was super overpriced. Be very minimal, very minimal amount of them are available. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like let me get off that, let me get off that uh, thought process that I was having get back on my original goal which is the high shot that'll be easier for me to get into i can pull it off with um with the vehicle that i have at least for as far as getting started goes yeah i can start hiring drivers man start investing in trucks like that that's the plan just filling y'all in real quick my next steps and um like i said man y'all part of the journey Appreciate you. I holler when I get on on deck. This next job.
So he's at the corner. Do you want him to go to the lower It's only just like a couple spots forward. But let's bring the chair down while okay. we have Joel available, and then we can throw a re okay. uh, exam where you get his. Okay. Are you in a, a real spot? Yeah, yeah, right there on the corner. That's, That's perfect. That's fine. That's just fine. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yep, yep, yep. We'll be right down there. Okay. Like, I need you to come up so you can okay. carry the chair. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, good, good. Good, good. Good. Happening, see, your first time up here, right? Huh, yeah, so his brother, you helping you met him already, yeah, 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 super nice, yeah, yeah, really nice guy. I'm gonna uh, help you out because he's kind of a little older. Uh -huh. I see super plastic on this stuff, I think everybody got over it. Yeah, a little boy, gotta keep it new, right? On the car, off, right? Off, yeah, off car, all right. Oh, wow. Beautiful. I, I never even looked at Jeremy uh, yesterday when I was here. It looks like amazing. That looks all over ah. with Coronado. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's the daytime, nighttime. So it works big time. What hey. floor is this? This is the uh, 31st floor. Ooh. Hey, you know the green buildings that light up at night? That's them right there. Which ones? The little buildings right there. All those like buildings that are uh. uniform. Those right there. Oh, right here, right here. So yeah, you yeah, see yeah. those lights when people take pictures? That's those, those buildings. All right, so here we go. Nine. 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 Is, is yours. Mine for his hundred. Um, you can decide how you break that out. All right. You, you, can, you can break it out with Carlos, whatever. Right. Yeah, we're going to take care of him. I he definitely took care of us, so thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. If you need anything, give us a call. You have his number too, right? All right, so that was a quick, quick little trip. Come on, gave me three hundred dollars. <laughs> so what I'm talking about, baby. That definitely made my day a whole lot better. Whole lot better. Much appreciation, that's for sure. So, anyway, that's all. That's all I want to say. Love you. I'll holler at you later. Uh, this probably gonna be it for the vlog, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't got nothing else going on. If something does go on, I'll, I'll pull this back up. But if not, I'll see y'all later. Peace.